Hello, welcome to my video. I am doing this video all about my new wig and the problems that I had, the things I had to overcome and figure out how to do, and just kind of an informative video on my review of my wig and how I got it to look natural. So I will first tell you about my wig. So I got a wig in a natural hair color. So I do know that lots of people like to get wigs to change up their hair color. I wanted one, especially because it's my first wig, to sort of get used to and confident wearing one. I wanted one that looked very natural. Ended up getting a wig that was 16 inches long. And I bought this from a lady. She had custom ordered it for herself and then she sold it. So I absolutely fell in love with the color. It was 16 inches long and I actually got her to cut it into sort of, you can't really see it, but one of those bobs that go like this. I believe I had her cut it into 14 inches um, in the front and then, you know, maybe 12 or 13 in the back. So it is human hair and I did get 150% density. I really like that it's human hair because I mean it feels amazing. It looks real. So I had bought wigs before. Mind you, they were very cheap Halloween wigs, but when they are synthetic, I know sometimes they say that you can like wash, dry, and curl them and stuff, but a lot of times you can't. The synthetic ones that I had, you could not curl them. They did have a very shiny effect to them, so you had to use a lot of dry shampoo, and even then it still looked like fake hair. This wig, it's real hair, looks like real hair, feels like real hair. You can wash it, you can blow dry it, you can curl it, straighten it, you can dye the color if you would like. They are quite expensive, but I think that the price sort of works out. If you want to wear this to change up your hair color, if you want like a bright hair color, I would suggest getting a wig just because to bleach your whole hair and then to put a color on it and then to have to upkeep that color does cost a lot of money it takes a lot of time especially when you are trying to bleach from a dark color into like a pink or a pastel color i would just get a wig save your actual natural hair the reason i wanted the wig is i really wanted long hair as well as short hair and i was going to just cut my hair but I didn't want to commit that much to it and I already had long hair and I wanted even longer so I figured I would just give my natural hair a little bit of a break by putting it in a wig every once in a while and having the short hair as well. The amount of money that I actually save by not having to upkeep my own hair also plays into how much the wig is worth the money when you buy it. The wig cap size, so I have a very small head and I would usually think that I would get a small wig cap. This one, because she already had it, was in a medium wig cap. Um, I would suggest maybe sizing up if you do have like hair already. I have quite thick hair, so when you do put it into the soft, it would add to the cap size that you need and you don't want too small. If you get too large, it's okay because they have these little bra strap things at the bottom that you can make bigger or smaller. So this is only a front lace wig. So what that means is that I can part it however I want, pretty much quite far down, like maybe to here on either side, and it'll look like your scalp, but you cannot like braid it in the back because it's only a front lace wig. So if you wanted to do the French braids all the way into the back so that it actually looked like your scalp, you would have to get a full lace wig and those are more expensive. But the front lace wigs just work, you know, even if you want to do those half ponytail things, the front lace wigs work for that. Inside does have clips, so I really like this. There's one at the back there, there's one right at the front, two on the sides, one at the bottom, and then I also have this that goes around your nape of your neck. This wig, the problem that I had when I first got it, and I'll insert clips and pictures to show you, but no matter how much you spend on a wig, you have to put work into it. When you just put the wig cap on, I would suggest wearing a wig, wig cap. So you don't have to wash these very often because it's not like real hair. So if you're not wearing it every single day and you are wearing a wig cap, then it's going to keep the oils away from the hair so you wash it less often and that'll also make it last a lot longer. So I would suggest wearing a wig cap 
over your hair and it just sort of keeps your hair like where it's supposed to be. I know that I probably couldn't put this on if I didn't have a wig cap because it's hard to sort of position your hair. I will insert video footage of me putting on the wig just so that you can see my kind of a method to it and how I make it look natural. But you do have to put work into the hair part. You do put it on like you can see the lace and in person you can see it. If you are like really closely looking you can see it. Pictures it might not be so bad. So what I did is a lot of different things. So first of all I flipped the wig inside out and I put it on sort of a wig stand and I took foundation as you can see here I took foundation that was my color or lighter and I dabbed it here and you want to make sure that you're just very lightly dabbing it because it is lace it will go through and I actually did have it um, stain the hair I had to wash this side of the hair. So make sure that it's very light on this side. So I used foundation as well as concealer on this side. As well, I went in with a really tiny makeup brush with concealer again, and I went into the hairline here. And then I also went in with eyeshadow, just a white sort of eyeshadow. And it is trial and error. So I, you know, I did the foundation thing and then I wore it out and I just kind of went along and added to it as I felt needed. I wore it everywhere and I thought it was fine and then I ended up in a mall trying on clothes and just the lighting in the mall made the part look a lot oranger than it did at home. So then I went home and I added even more white eyeshadow just to sort of tone down the orange because your natural part is like quite light compared to your skin tone. I went in with the white eyeshadow and then a trick that I did, I put it on, I, because it's so close to my natural hair color, keep a lot of my actual hair around the outside edges on. I'll just show you here. You can put your wig so that it's like this, right? it's a, in front of your actual hairline, or you could put it sort of like this if your color matches really closely so that the very front is actually your hairline so that it's less obvious. It just depends how your wig is. If you do have blonde hair and like a pink wig, you could take out some pieces of your actual blonde hair and put like eyeshadow, like pink eyeshadow in it to match the color. Like I would be careful with that because it could stain your actual hair or the eyeshadow depending which one you use but what I found the best works is I do take a little bit of my actual hair out I make sure that I bring out a lot of my baby hairs and then I take like a little brown eyeshadow shade and it's not super dark brown but I put it right at the very front part here and I also like I put it when my wigs on and I blend it into the actual baby hairs so that it's a little bit darker here in the front, but it looks more natural. As you can see, like up here has a little bit of a darker root. If you had a bleach white wig, it might not work to do the darker, but then you might want to add a dark root or whatever. But that is just the trial and error that I sort of found about this because it was a medium wig cap. I had to get my hairdresser to sort of cut around my ear area because the wig hair would come down to here so she just cut the lace so that it fits around my ear it fits great i really enjoy this i think that it looks really natural i will insert a clip of me putting it on and how i put my actual hair
is everything about my wig. I hope that I remembered everything. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will get to them. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.